heed the heavens, the grand theogenist demands. Azia stirs. Yes. As wind is wanton to do, magic or otherwise. I am tired and drunk on rage. My eyes seek to make a fool of me. And a fool I am made. Grungis Baldric, revered by soldiers, dwarves, and dimwits aplenty. Heed the heavens, heed the heavens, uh, heed the heavens, and heed them I shall, and I am certain to find them once again lacking of anything worthy of my heeding. Sigmar tests me, though there is little left for him to test. The Piper. Today you show me the Piper. We shan't see the third constellation tomorrow. I'm sure of it. It mustn't be correct. A mere fancy of fate. Uh, if that is true, why does my mind churn so? Yes, as to be expected. Very good. Very good indeed. Oh, can be. The drama, visible only in the autumn months, defies reality and hangs within the sky simply to taunt me. Oh, by Sigma, it's really happening, isn't it? The fourth constellation. Is there a fourth? The Azir continues to frenzy, and my research leads me to the drummer, a scientific impossibility given the time of year. Further study revealed Raya's cauldron also. I am beyond reason. There is no reasoning with the forces of fantasy, though I loathe to admit it. The time has dawned. Sigma, protect us all. This cannot be the end, I fear. The High Priest will receive my word soon enough and darken my door afterwards. When I am cowering in his shadow, I shall need a spark to light the black. Only a glimmer. Only if I am allowed it. A minuscule token of hope. It is the heavens that stole my resolve. It will be the heavens that return it. By the light of Azurios. Is this the answer to my plea? A glimmer of hope? Do we find a salvation in the jaws of the god bear himself? Oh, Urson, are your people our saviors? Or our end? <laughs> and all this ungeheimnis nachtiv. Dark times linger on the horizon, I fear, and the Empire must be prepared. Something evil approaches, and it arrives tomorrow. Well, well, well. It looks like another teaser has arrived, and it might give us hope, or it might spell doom for the Warhammer world as we know it. With all four of the current teasers put together as one, it's pretty clear now what the basis of our story is, and it's so much more than a DLC, so this is undoubtedly Total War Warhammer 3. This last teaser does not deal in the typical constellations we've seen before, so let's take a look at what we do see, and how that brings it all together before a larger culmination appears tomorrow. We return, as always, to the Astrolab and the Magister, and he is no less stressed and desperate as when we last left him. 
The High Priest will have seen his report soon and will be heading his way as the Magister speaks. Knowing that this conversation will not be a pleasant one, his desperation for a glimmer of light, something positive, takes him back to the heavens as that's what took away his resolve in the first place. And as he looks to the heavens for his salvation and his light, the winds of magic reveal to him an unexpected constellation with the clearest meaning yet out of the teasers. The constellation in the sky reveals none other than Urson, the god bear and patron god of Kislev. Usually seen as a massive brown cave bear, he's adorned with a gold crown and oftentimes with golden teeth and golden claws, symbolizing not just that Urson is king of all beasts, but that bears have the highest value of them. That Urson is revealed paving the way for Kislev is extremely fitting in the context of the Chaos God's arrival. Their position in the northernmost part of the world meant they saw some of the heaviest fighting and devastation in the first Chaos invasion, and throughout their history have been the line of defense protecting the Empire from the same. With the coming apparent end times and the second massive invasion of Chaos, they will without doubt heavily come into play in Total War Warhammer 3. However, whether they act as the world's salvation or their doom has yet to be seen, Will Kislev have the option to fight for good or for evil? Kislev has always fought against chaos, so what would have to change in order for Kislev to spell doom? That is as of yet unknown. Personally, I'm very excited to see Kislev, and I think most of the community is as well. And yet, if we are indeed starting Total War Warhammer 3 with four chaos factions and just Kislev, how will they be balanced against the odds? It does have me a bit concerned for replayability as well, but we'll have to see should Creative Assembly give out details soon. And soon it should be. The Magister's final comments on the evil heading our way tomorrow leaves little doubt in my mind that the actual announcement for Total War Warhammer 3 is actually coming. And lastly, did we get a release date in this teaser? The Magister's comment about get Heimisch not Eve despite it being late spring, seems to allude to it. Geheimischnacht is known as the Night of Mysteries and is one of only two nights in which the lesser chaos moon Morslib is full. It's on these nights that the worshippers of chaos make their largest sacrifices as Morslib is closest to the world and the winds of magic grow strong and even mutations appear. It sounds like a perfect time for chaos to show itself. But Geheimischnacht is October 30th which is a Saturday in 2021. I seriously doubt that Creative Assembly would release their game on a Saturday. However, Geheimish Not Eve would be Friday, and you could even push it to Thursday with a little leeway. Is October the 28th or October the 29th the release date? Nine months of marketing would be quite the long cycle, but I think it's pretty feasible and it lines up with the theme of chaos that we've seen so far. It's been a wild ride with these teasers, and Creative Assembly has done a pretty enjoyable job with them and their little puzzles. It's pretty clear that this is the last one, which means tomorrow is, while not again confirmed, the trailer for Total War Warhammer 3, and I'm heckin' excited about it. Thanks for taking this little teaser journey with me, everyone. I will heavily cover Warhammer 3 on this channel, so be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you're up to date with any videos I release. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This is Havoc, and I will see you in the next video. Sigmar willing. Are your people our saviors? Or our end? <laughs> and all this an Geheimnis nach Dief. Dark times linger on the horizon, I fear, and the Empire must be prepared. Something evil approaches, and it arrives tomorrow.